Hi everyone, Mr. Pete again. Um, so we are now on day five of our um, famous portrait um, Google Drawings file. Uh, and you can see that yesterday we put in the, um, the eyebrows, the eyes, um, the irises, and then the nostrils and the mouth. Um, and again, I'm seeing some really good stuff. I know at this point it, it the character still looks, or not the character, the, the person looks really freaky, but um, I'm telling you it, it really will get better. So today we're going to focus mostly on the details in the eyes, and then we're going to put in some a little bit more shadows and highlights highlights meaning like wherever there's light shining those areas of the face and hair and clothes will be a little bit lighter okay those are your highlights so again those three things are the details in the eyes some extra smaller shadows and highlights that's it that's all i want you guys to work on for today all right so uh let's get started instead of using our polyline tool I actually want you guys to use this scribble tool right here. And what's cool about the scribble tool is um, you can just kind of draw the line. Right now I'm doing her eyelashes, which are kind of dark. And when I let go, it makes a nice clean line like that. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my arrow tool and I'm going to highlight both of them. So that one's highlighted. I hold down my shift key and I click on the other one and then I'll go over here. It says line weight right next to this one, the line color, the line weight. I'm going to click that and I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So right now it's just one pixel. Uh, I want to do maybe three. Um, yeah, that works. Okay. So now her eyes don't look as creepy as they did before. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is I want to put her pupils in, which is the little black circle that's in your eyeball. Um, her eyes are brown, but then she's got that black circle right in there. That's actually the part of the eye that you, that, um, receives light. Um, so you guys are able to see. So I'm actually going to use the circle. So I go to shapes, then I click this little circle and I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit on mine and I'm going to create a circle off of the eye. And I think I want it to be about maybe hmm, about, let's say, that big. Okay, now I want two of these. So instead of making two of these to make it easier, since this is highlighted, I'm going to hold um, Command-C, which I'm going to make a copy of it. Um, if you guys are using, if you're not using Apple, my, my laptop is an Apple. If you guys have Windows or a Chromebook, you're going to use Control C for that. And then I'm going to hit Control or Command V. And I should have another eye that popped up right here. So now I have these two. If I click off of it, you can kind of see the two. Then I can use the arrow tool and I can just bring it over. And I'll do the same thing with the other. And then I, since that one's highlighted, I'll highlight the other one and I'll hold the shift key, click. So now just those pupils, both of them are um, highlighted. I'm going to zoom out, go to my fill color and let's turn that black. Okay, perfect. Now she's starting to look a little bit more human, not exactly human. Um, there is like this little, if you kind of look close at my photograph, you can see like a little bit of glimmer in her eye. It's like the really tiny light light highlight right there. So what I'm going to do here is I'll click off. I'm going to get my circle tool again. Okay. I'm going to zoom in and I want to make another very tiny circle and I'm going to copy and paste. So now I have two of them. I'm going to take my arrow tool, drag it. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Take my arrow tool, put it right sort of off to the side, just like this. And then I'm going to take my other one and I'm going to put it just sort of in the same spot so I can get that glimmer. And when I click off, you can see that there's that little glimmer in the eye. See that? It kind of makes it look like there's a light kind of shining towards her and the glossiness of her eye is reflecting that light. Okay, perfect. Um, and if you want to, you can go in with the, um, the squiggly tool. What was this called again? Scribble, I meant. Squiggly, scribble, whatever. 
Uh, and then I can go in here, oops, it clicked off again, and I can add some eyelashes if I want to. Now I'm kind of going in this direction. Um, because this is a female, I'm making the eyelashes a little bit longer, like this. Okay, good. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, and if you want to, you can go in and start to add some of these darker shadows, which is what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is go back to the polyline tool. Because because I want to kind of create these shapes, and I'm looking on her face, and I'm starting to see these other darker shadows, like right next to her eye, right under here. It's a little bit darker, and there's also some of that darkness right over here too. So I'm going to sort of uh, I'm going to trace this. Um, and it should look something like this, and then it should snap. And then I'll do the same for the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom out, get my arrow, hold the shift. Now I have these two shapes and I'm going to drag them over. Okay, and I wanna kind of place them uh, it's going to look something like that. And then because they're, they're highlighted, I'll get rid of the border and then the color fill. Um, and, oh, okay, so that's the same color. So I want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to go maybe here. Okay, so now I have darker shadows you could see that are right next to the eye. I want to do something next to the nose. You could see these creases that are next to the nostrils that kind of come down. Everybody sort of has these. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. Polyline tool. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just kind of tracing this shape and I want it to be that sort of blockiness. That's the style we're going for. Okay, so now they're highlighted, hold the shift. Now they're both highlighted and then I'll drag it over and then I will kind of place it right next to the nose, just kind of like that. And then I want to make that the same shadow color as the other one, okay? And yeah, you're starting to see some of those shadows. She also has a little shadow under here by the lip, and she also has a dark shadow right here by the neck. I'm gonna do that part next. So I'm using the polyline. I'm gonna come in here. And I'm just kind of doing right by the chin and it kind of has a cast shadow like here. So that's sort of where I'm seeing it and let it snap, arrow, drag it over. You kind of see how this really isn't getting very complicated. And then I'm going to place this right over here and then I will color fill that, get rid of the border. Okay, and then you can see that there's that shadow right under her neck and which is nice because it also kind of shapes Her face here you can see where her chin and her cheek kind of end and where her neck begins Which is what you're kind of looking for Okay, and the last thing I want to do is some highlights So I'm gonna look on her skin and find where those highlights are definitely over here on this side and then some here on the bridge of the nose usually it's always on the bridge of the nose next to this shadow over here and maybe right here on the cheek. Um, so I'm going to focus on those. So I'm going to go ahead, grab the polyline tool, and I'm just going to kind of trace out those highlights. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to continue going. So I'm going to create a whole new shape, and I kind of see the highlight kind of going this way too. And I see one over here. And I kind of see one over here on the chin. I'm going to grab this one. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my arrow tool. Select, hold down the shift key, select all of those shapes and then drag them all so they're all together and then I can kind of place them. Now it looks really weird now, but once I change the color, I'll get rid of the border and then the color fill. No, that doesn't look good. 
maybe something a little lighter, something like that. So when you click off, you can now see that the eyes are done. We have some darker shadows and we have some highlights as well. All right, that's all I'm going to ask you to do for Friday. Um, for, uh, so um, for today, Friday, and then also what I'm going to have you guys do is on Monday, I'm going to make Monday a fine tuning day. All right. So please don't turn it in yet and keep that photo off to the side. Again, what I'm seeing is some really, really good stuff. All right. So I will be around. Uh, comment, ask me questions, email me. I'm here for you. All right. Bye, guys.